Bow chicka wow wow. Bow chicka wow wow. Waka waka. Bow chicka wow wow. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> I have to watch an ad on my own video. Hold on. Just a second. Very important that I watch this. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. Let me know. Good? Good? We good? No one's saying anything. Clementine Diva! Hi! All right. Today we have a 30 minutes full body workout. Okay, perfect. Yes, awesome. Amy! Amy, what's up? Oh, Jenna, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Terry, Sonia, Tyler, hello everyone. Oh, this is wonderful. Leanne! Corinna! Oh my, or unless it's, oh, oh Putin's here. <laughs> Anthony, I like how all of my videos start out with me standing here in front of you. All right, um, <laughs> love you, Putin. Oh my, oh my God. All right, guys, so I'm, I'm all flustered because I'm excited. Okay, we are going to have, you can't even see me, you can probably just see my butt. Okay, <laughs> we are going to have a 30 minute, probably a 35 minute because you know me. Um, workout today, and we're gonna be using dumbbells, and it's gonna be full body strength, cardio, and abs, and that's it. I don't know. <laughs> Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. Okay, so let's get warmed up. I'm working out barefoot today because I thought it'd be fun. I don't know. Okay, so let's start out with some butt kickers. So kick that booty, drive those knees up in front. Whew. It's gonna be a good one. Keep it going. Oh yeah. Three, two, one. Feet out wide, arms out wide. Reach across that body. Squeeze that back, open up that chest. So we're getting those hamstrings nice and warmed up. Woo. Here's some, getting them nice and stretched out as we open up the chest and warm up that back too. Nice movement, mobility for our hips. Yeah. Go two more, one on each side. Last one. And done. Nice job. Bounce it out. Let's rotate those arms forward. Big circles. Big open circles. I'm telling you, work out barefoot. This is great. I wish this was grass. <laughs> Three, two, and bring it backwards. Now remember, you can always take the bounce out if you're like cat. Today. Today is not a bouncy day. That's okay. I always give modifications too. So I'm just glad you're here. Three, two, one, and let's go ahead and bring that left leg back, back, and then front kick. Bring it back, front kick. Remember, you want to have a nice flat back. You want to sink down midfoot to heel on that front leg and keep going. <laughs> Take it down, kick. Let's go two more on this side. Last one, and other side. So sink down, nice strong kick. We're strong warriors. Arr. Oh my god, we should have a pirate themed one. And I'll be like, we are warriors. I'm done. I just lost all my subscribers. Two more. <laughs> Last one, kick. And let's go with those seal jacks, just for funsies. Arms out wide, feet out wide. Clap in front of that body. Remember, you can tap it out too. That's okay. So funny. For these live streams, I still get so excited that my heart rate goes up really fast, <laughs> really soon. So I feel out of breath really fast. <laughs> let's go. Three, two, one. I don't know how professional athletes do it. So let's come on down, plank position. Press back in the down dog, bicycle out. So we're warming up the calves here. Keep it going. Woo. Get in those calves. Nice and warmed up. Three, two, one. Bring it forward into plank, press back. Forward into plank, press fingertips, palms on the ground. Keep flowing through, getting the shoulders, Getting the core, making sure we're not collapsing in that lower back here. Let's go two more. 
Last one, then we're gonna get some movement flow, some more movement flow, and let's come down to the ground. So, with our feet in front of us, feet out wide, hands behind us, dip those hips side to side. So if you start to collapse like this, just separate your feet wider. That way, you can get that full mobility. And let's go ahead, drop them over to the left side, add some side to side movements here. Nice and easy. Three, two, one. If you have a little bit more in you, you're gonna press your hips forward, come to the knees, come back down. And then keep flowing through on that side. Press up, pushing those hips forward. So this is a nice hip opener. Uh, I love doing this because my hips are so tight. So adding this in has really, really helped into my routine. Let's go one more. And you can have your hands behind you if you want to. We're gonna switch sides, go to the other side. Now, for me personally, this side's a lot um, more challenging for me. So if it's the same for you, just do as much as you can and you can use your hands too if you want to. Let's go two more. Last one. All right, nice job. And just switch through. So you're gonna press up, hands behind you if you want to, and we're gonna keep on alternating. Woo! I know you guys like this movement flow stuff that we do in my workouts, so I always love adding it in. Let's go one more. All right, and let's curl the toes underneath, push the hips up, slowly roll it up. And go ahead, bounce it out. We're almost ready to get started. We're gonna go with those skaters, so side to side, getting that stabilization movement. Take your time in this, okay? This is just the warm up, so keep it going. So if you ever wanna challenge yourself in a different way, since you're at home and stuff especially, try going barefoot. Like, <laughs> you can try that out. It makes things a little bit more challenging for your feet if they're not used to doing these movements barefoot. Because when you change your grounding like this, it's gotta adapt. So let's go four more. Last three, two, one. And last one, hands on the hips, feet out wide, hip circles. You can catch your breath. I'm really just catching my breath for me. <laughs> let's go a few more in this round. SpongeBob, baby. And other way around. We are almost ready. Oh yay. Oh yay. Last two. One more. All right, shake it out. Yay, grab a drink, I need one. I don't know about you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna check the comments, make sure everything's okay. Yeah. Just ours here. Rest day now. Yeah, I was gonna say you just, just did a workout. Young Teasy, isn't it like 1 a.m.? You're crazy and I love it. Matt's here and Fred and everyone. Oh, I feel like I'm in, I'm in, uh, what's that, what's that movie? Wizard of Oz. And you're here and you're here. All right, guys, so 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Once I hit this timer, good luck to us all. 15 seconds, I'm gonna grab one weight, dumbbell squat touchdowns. So start with your feet together. Dumbbell one hand if you want to use one. Chest up, you're gonna sink down, jump, and switch to the top. Now you wanna jump your feet together at the top, okay? All right, let's go. The timer has gone off. Now if you can't do this by jumping, no big deal, walk it. Step in, step out, and walk it. You're still getting that awesome movement in. Make sure your chest is up. Keep it going, guys. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It's like 70 degrees out today, or it's gonna be. That's crazy. I love it. 10 seconds. Almost there, guys. Keep that chest up. Three, two, all right. So next up, we're gonna face to the left. From here, you're gonna take a big step with that right foot. Pivot over jump pivot over pretty much a free throw all right get ready three two and bring it up pivot and pop it up pivot and pop 
<laughs> the lawn guys right there. God, this is awkward. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, he knew. He walked right away, right away. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Really hop it up there. Remember, you can always come up to the tippy toes if you're like, yeah. My breath. Whoopsies. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. Oh, that was fun. Okay, so next up, dumbbell in the right hand. We're gonna step our left leg back, but first you're gonna press, sink back, come up, and down. Okay, so it's a lot on the um, on the shoulder. Let's go. Press, sink it back, back, and down. Modification if you need it. Step back first and then press. Especially if you don't have that mobility yet in your lower back, okay? Or your mid back even, or even your shoulders. <laughs> Who knows? But having more time under tension for that shoulder is crazy. Step, whoops, get into two amps. <laughs> Keep it going, guys. 10 seconds on this side. Then we're gonna repeat right away on the other side. Woo! Three, two, all right. So, other side, really try to keep that arm up as much as you can. This gives me so much respect for CrossFitters who have like 100 pounds overhead on one arm and they're lunging. So, yes, keep it going, guys. Press. Oh, be strong. Press. Nice job. 35 seconds already. Now, one side might be a little bit more challenging for balance and stability. So, modify if you need to. Don't be afraid to modify on one side and not the other. You want to keep form so we prevent injury. Keep it up, guys. Press and back. Press, bring it back and back. Almost there, we got three, two, one. Okay, get rid of that dumbbell, I don't want it anymore. Okay, so we have two squat jumps, four ankle taps. Chest up, sink down, one, two, one, two, three, four. If you can't do the ankle taps, you can do high knee marches or just high knees. So, one, two, one, two, three, four. Really think about driving those knees up so we get that core. Four. Keep it going, guys. One, two. Chest up. Legs at least 90. One, two. One, two, three, four. Oh, we got it. After this, we'll give the lower body a little break. Just a little one. Two, one, two, three, four. Keep going, guys. One, two, one, two, three, four. Finish it out, last three seconds. Okay, narrow to wide push-ups. Matt, you're gonna like this. He's a chest guy, he's got a big chest. <laughs> so, hands close together, right next to the body. Press, walk it out, one step each, press. All right, let's go. Now, if you need to, you can always modify, come to the knees. But even better, if you have a stable surface, highly recommend, this is gonna move on me like before, <laughs> I highly recommend using a stable surface that's not so cushy like this, maybe at the edge of a couch, okay? Because that's gonna help you work even more muscle as opposed to on the knees. And that's gonna help you build up to a full push-up. So a tricep push-up, baby. And then a regular. Squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes. Okay, that was fun. Okay, so next up, we're actually gonna stay on the ground. Down dog, so like the warm-up. Down dog, back in the plank, circle with those arms. Down dog, side plank, circle. Let's go. If this is too much, Stick with the down dog to plank, 
just like we did in the warm up. All the way around. Press it back, bring it back, all the way around. Keep it going, guys. Wee! Win, little baby. All the way around. 20 seconds. Wee! Those shoulders should start to burn. We're getting the core, getting the shoulders, <laughs> getting everything, making a beautiful circle with those hands, sparkle, sparkle. Okay, for those people who just joined, they're like, yeah, I'm gonna go. All right, <laughs> so next up, we're gonna grab one weight. From here, start with your feet together, press out, press up. And you're gonna keep on alternating. All right, let's go. You can step it if you need to. So, speaking of shoulders, <laughs> here we go. I figured you want more. With or without the weight, again, is up to you. If you're going without, still press out with your arms because your arms still weigh something, <laughs> just something. Keep that core strong. Keep it up, guys. Jump it out or step. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to bring one weight with us. Just like in the warm up, you're going to come into that hip switch. So, left leg is going to be horizontal to you. We're going to press up. Come down, switch. All right, let's go. So, if you can't do this with the weight, because this makes you not be able to use your hands, you can go back to what we did in the warm up. Okay, so take your time. Great hip mobility. It's nice. Mobility is part of fitness, flexibility is part of fitness, stabilization coordination. So it's not just cardio and endurance and strength. You gotta work it off. Whew. Five seconds, guys. Finish it out. Yay. Get rid of this. I don't want it anymore. Get out of my sight. Okay, so plank position from here. Am I too far? Hello. <laughs> You're gonna drive your left foot to the outside. Drive your right knee in, bring it back, and plank jack. Up, kick, and plank jack. So this is awesome for your core, awesome for your shoulders. Now after a while, it's easy to press back. Make sure your hands are right under the shoulders the whole time. Keep rocking it, guys. Woo. Drive that knee in through that hand and that foot. Yeah, I'm gonna need some water. I'm gonna need some of that water soon. 10 seconds. Whew. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two. Oh my gosh, you guys, that one was so fun. Okay, so I'll grab both weights. Hello, old friends. <laughs> so, come into a lunge position as if you're gonna lunge down. You're gonna lunge, curl the 90, press, and down. Whoop, sorry, keep your feet where they are. So sit down, curl, stop at 90, press, and down. Whoo, time under tension for those biceps and those legs. Curl, and back. I forgot about water. <laughs> what is that? You might need lighter weights than usual, just because, again, more time under tension. 10 seconds. It's hot. <laughs> Finish it up. Okay, so my right leg was stabilizing. Therefore, what we're going to do, here's step to the right, push your butt back, come up, swing. Bring it back, swing, okay? coordination. <laughs> Some of you might be like, yeah, I'm going to hit something. If, um, 
both weights are too much, you can always grab one. Sink down like this. Just make sure your back is flat. Keep your chest up as much as you can. Left leg is straight. Push your butt back. And sink in two. Mid foot to heel on that right leg. Whew. Keep going. This one is fun. <laughs> Guess what? We're gonna repeat on the other side. Three, two, okay. Now that you know it, I'm gonna take a little sip these. Good stuff, okay. So, left leg is forward this time. Whew. Get ready, palms out, sink down, curl, stop at 90, press it out and down. Come up, sink it, curl, stop at 90, press it and down. Make sure you're placing your weight midfoot to heel, sinking straight down, thinking elevator, not escalator, on that front leg. You might find that your heart rate is up. <laughs> Some of you are like, yeah, cat, you think? <laughs> yeah, when we work legs and stuff, big muscle group, it's gonna be up. Curl, press, we got five seconds. Sink it. Uh, okay. Oh, I am sweaty. <laughs> so we're gonna step to the left this time. Catch your breath. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the long guy again. Hi. Okay. <laughs> help. I just go up to the window. I'm like, help. <laughs> Keep going. Squeeze that core. Make sure in this one. You're not hyper extending the spine when you bring those dumbbells up, okay? Nice, strong core. Whew. Keep it going. Over halfway. Then we're gonna work on some stability. Remember, right leg is straight this time. Whew. Last 10 seconds. Yay. Five. Four, three, two, okay. <laughs> Keep your chest up in this one. Now, we're aiming for height, not side to side. So, chest up, sink down, vertical hops. After three, you're gonna try to do a single leg burpee. Let's go. If you can't do a single leg burpee, or you can't do these hops, walk them out. Oh my gosh, I just tripped. Sink down, drive your knee up and switch. Okay? If you can do that burpee, try it out. If you can do a chest to floor burpee, heck yeah. Take your time in this movement, okay? It's not a rush. Hop. 10 seconds. Hop. Then I'm gonna go real close to that camera. Three, two, I need to see what we need to do next. <laughs> what did my crazy self write? Okay, grab your dumbbells, narrow to wide rows. So, chair pose, we got narrow row, palms out, wide row. Palms close, or sorry, hands facing each other, and then hands out. Think about squeezing shoulder blades together. Palms out, back flat. If you're wondering how to get in this position, you wanna think, feet close together, hinge from the hips, back flat. Bend the knees, sink down a little bit more, you're golden. Squeeze your core. Keep going, guys. Oh, baby. Getting that back, beautiful back. Who else is shiny? <laughs> Are you guys shiny? <sighs> Say it isn't just me. <sighs> Reverse curls. So we're working the biceps, but we're also working the forearms. Palms are going to be facing down, elbows in. Reverse curl, control it on the way down. <sighs> okay, let's go. Bring it up. You can always do one at a time if you need to. 
Again, reminder, elbows are not flaring out, okay? They're right next to the body. Bring it up nice and controlled. You should start to feel this top of the forearm. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. We're almost to abs. <laughs> I love seeing that on, on our workout. We're almost to abs. This is wonderful. Keep going, guys. Last 10 seconds. Finish it out. Five, four, three, two. All right. So next up, we're going to go with one dumbbell. So three switch feet. One, two, three. Chop towards the knee that's in front. Okay. One, two, three. Chop. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Quick steps. One, two, three. Keep it going, guys. One, two, three. Chop. One, two, three. And chop. Nice, strong core. 30 seconds. So we're getting cardio, getting calves. We're getting those obliques, which is awesome. Your arms are probably going to start to feel it too. Remember, you don't have to use a weight though. Whew. Three, chop. We got one more cardio move. Two, three, chop. And done. <sighs> okay. So, toes facing out. Keep your chest up. We got four sumo pulses. Heel tap. Okay, if you can't do the heel tap, tap it in like that. Right, let's go. One, two, three, tap. <sighs> Two, three, tap. Oh my goodness. Two, three. Keep that chest up. I did not tap there. <laughs> did anyone, anyone see that? Three. I think I've been doing just three. You can do three to four. This is real time, baby. Real time cat. Doesn't know what she's doing. Too excited for her own good. Keep rocking it, guys. One, two, Three, last 10 seconds. Two, three, four, three, two. Oh my goodness. Okay, so chair pose, or not chair pose. Uh, tabletop, hands on the shoulders, knees into the hips. From here, you're gonna lift up, kick the left leg under. You're gonna have your right um, hand up, pulse, and then switch. Kick under. Pulse and switch. So you're pulsing through that shoulder. Press through, press through. Come down, press through. Switch. Little scapular action there. Kick through. Come up. Keep rocking it, guys. Press it up. Down, up, and back. Little movement flow again. Then we're going to go back. We're going to go to abs. Yes. Yes, yes, yes and kick, ha, ha, up, kick, finish it out, don't finish it out because we're done with that, <laughs> roll the boat pose, so remember not to roll in your neck or your head, we're going to roll, come up, boat, if you can't do that boat, having your feet off the ground is okay, or if you really need to tap your feet down, it's okay too, roll, come up, boat, roll, come up, boat, if you want to make it more challenging, reach for the toes at the end. Boat, reach. You don't have to tap them, but if you can, do it. Ooh, almost there, guys. It's a sweaty one today. Oh my goodness, so shiny. Oh yeah, 10 seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and done. All right, so four bicycles, and now we're gonna do either a forward toe touch, so one, two, three, four, bring it up, or you can go to the side, okay? I'm gonna go to the side, but if your lower back is an issue, then you're gonna pulse straight up. One, two, three, four, legs up, 
twist. So notice how I twist my torso too. Three, four, bring it up and twist. Now, as I've mentioned in my other workouts, having a strong core is gonna make every other movement in your life that much stronger. So yes, we work it in deadlifts and squats and all that jazz, but make sure you're working it by itself too. That's something I wish I had told my younger self. So I was like, oh, I don't need to do that. You don't need to, but man, does it make everything else better. Whew. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice job. Next up, Woo. for adult time. So we're gonna have our forearms stacked like this. Come into a plank, you're gonna turn, and then elbow behind you. Turn, elbow behind you. Let's go. If this is too much for you, you can also come to the knees like this and elbow back behind you like this, okay? Just make sure you get to 45 degrees, you're not at 90 in that chicken wing unit. So we're getting the core here, but you wanna think about the back of the shoulder. So mind muscle connection, squeeze, and really elbow someone behind you. So watch out if you're working out near someone, okay? <laughs> elbow, keep it up guys, elbow, Woo! almost there. Now I'm all about having long hair, it's starting to really just, <laughs> all right, Ooh, I saved the best for last, <laughs> so most challenging version, head and shoulders feet off the ground, we're gonna dance, magic dance, okay? If that's too much, you can hold it here, or here, or bend the knees in. Let's go. Whew. Yeah. So, again, I hope you um, recognized whatever I just said from the labyrinth. Dance, magic, dance. And you can totally do whatever kind of dance you want, okay? If your lower back starts to jump in, make sure you support it. This is just fun. It's making a hollow man. Even better. Oh, 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 oh. Keep it going. Oh, now it's starting to burn. Because I'm actually thinking about it. 10 seconds. <laughs> Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and done. Woo! <laughs> that was fun. I really liked that. Oh, great time, guys. <laughs> Let's come down to the ground. Relax. Get our breath back to normal. Arms overhead, feet out in front, big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let's do two more. Big inhale through the nose, exhale. One more, I want you to fill your lungs with all the oxygen. Once you fill it, fill it a little bit more. And then as you exhale, exhale everything. So ready, big inhale, go. Exhale. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Go ahead, bring those knees in. Make a circle with those legs, massaging that lower back. You guys did amazing today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you stick around for this cool down because it's super important to take advantage of our body being nice and warm so we can stretch it out, make it more mobile and healthy. And go ahead, let's rock it up to a seated position. Whew. Hands behind you. We're going to do um, those side to sides just like we did in the beginning. I'm going to move a little bit closer. Hello. So intimate here. <laughs> oh, Matt, I don't know if he left already. He needed to go early, I know. Ta da. <laughs> and let's go ahead, go to that left side. Add some side to side movements. Breathe here, Ooh. and let's add a twist to it. So let's go tall on the spine. Ooh. Right hand to the left knee, left hand and back. Big inhale up, exhale, twist, look to the left. Keep going through, inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale. Slowly unwind, nice job. Let's go ahead, go the other side. Same thing side to side. So fun thing about that kettlebell, it says get it, get it, because I said that all the time, and I still actually do say that. 
And it has a bow like Hello Kitty. They know me so well. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Left hand to the right knee, right hand and back. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, twist. This side is tighter for me. So just make sure to use your breath. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And slowly bring it back. This is where we're all sweaty and we're rolling on the ground and we get all our pet hair all over us. <laughs> Good times. Let's go into a butterfly. So bottoms of the feet together. Have butterfly it out. You can add some wing flutters or you can just stay here and chill. This is nice. Let's stay here. I'm just gonna stay here, guys. Bye. <laughs> and go ahead. Let's pretzel it or crisscross applesauce, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So a lot of times during, especially like this weird time, we get very stressed and we get put a lot of stress in that neck. So what I want you to do is relax your neck entirely. Take your right hand, bring in the left side. Take your left hand, bring it right on the shoulder. Remember to relax your neck. You're in a palm apart might be kind of intense, so make sure you're breathing. And you can move your neck fine where it's super tight on that side. Ooh. And if you want to, you can also bring your arm out and twist it in different ways. Find where you need it the most and stay there and breathe. And slowly, slowly come back to center, side to side motions. And we're gonna go on the other side, otherwise we're gonna look funny. <laughs> so let's go ahead, relax your neck entirely, left hand to the right side, right hand right here, pull. Again, thank you guys again so much for joining me. I can't see the chat right now, but um, if you do wanna support my channel, there is a thing called Super Chat on the chat thingy. And if you want to, again, support my channel, that would be amazing. There's also an option in my um, description. I'm gonna put the movements down in there soon, but, Slowly release, Woo. side to side. But I do have a link that says support my channel. Anything and everything is so appreciated. So thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead, curl the toes underneath. Push the hips back, straighten out the legs here. Legs pull it out. Remember, relax the neck here. Oh, baby. And slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let that neck do the last thing come up. Roll up the shoulders. Oh my goodness, so many crinkle crackles. <laughs> and left arm across the body and pull, look over that left shoulder. So whatever you do for the rest of your day, just remember to be proud of yourself, to, to have come to this workout, to make yourself stronger, to make yourself better, to challenge yourself. You never know what Crazy Cat has for you. Let's go ahead and switch. So I think that's so, so awesome. And yeah, just be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and go ahead, shake it out. Last one, most important of them all. So let's go ahead. Clasp those hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. Oh, push, 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 push. We are done for today. Yay! So exciting. Now I'm going to check all the chats. And uh, if I missed anything, did I miss anything? Leanne, oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much for super chatting. I appreciate that so much. Um, like legit though, like I get very like, ah. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I love it. And thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I believe, yes, yes. That's so cool. Do you, is, Leanne, you're, you have your kids working out with you sometimes, right? I think so. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming so much. One can guess how much money you've made by your background. <laughs> Does that mean like this? This is my mom's house. <laughs> I don't have a house. So, um, Farida, Matt, Michelle, Sonia, Cheshire, Aaron, Jenna, thank you so much, you guys. Um, yeah. Let me know if you guys want another, um, workouts next week for our live to have dumbbells in it it'll be same time same day and i hope to see you soon let's see sean thank you oh my god yay the twins joined that's awesome lean clean i don't know your real name but 
I just want to say that I'm very proud of you for taking the time to work on your mentality and everything. I think that is so wonderful. I love reading your comments and chatting with you and everything. So, um, Suzette, 60, that's so freaking awesome. Can you talk to my mom? Can you like get her to do my workouts too? Because that'd be awesome. I've been trying to convince her for years and it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> like Anthony yeah the yard guy he had a beard and everything and he had like like I just pictured him he had a leaf blower and I pictured him in like like medieval armor with this like leaf blower cool stuff cool stuff um so hi to Michelle as well I want I would love to if you guys have Animal Crossing I messaged her uh okay yeah honestly the neck stretch so so wonderful um sometimes if you have headaches and stuff uh, it can be caused by like a tight neck or maybe some some back pain and stuff can be caused by a tight neck. So just make sure you're stretching everything out just because one thing is tight might mean that you need to stretch other areas in your body. Like sometimes hip pain can actually come from the ankles, which is so, so crazy. So um, yeah, do you guys want a QA and a sometime? I kind of want to do a live Q&A again. I did it like once, but... <laughs> Periodic oh my god. Okay, I should probably stop now, right? I don't know. I just get really excited. I'm so lonely. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, thank you guys so much again. I will see you next week. Do all the things. I'm gonna end the stream now. Goodbye. Roar.